welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at some future games coming soon to consoles for 2022 and 2023. With the world being what it is, it's hard to say when games, top games, are coming out with delay after delay. I, for one, am willing to wait to ensure that all games come out at their utmost complete form. We are taking a look at my top 7 games that I am truly looking forward to when I look for games on all my consoles, meaning the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, Windows PC, and of course, my Xbox Series X. When I do say this, I'm actually probably going to pre-order them and pay full price, as excited as I am to play them. I usually wait as prices go down or wait for them to come on Game Pass to release, which also saves me money. Thanks to Game Pass, the list does go down, as many of the games that I want to try, and they are released day one, so I don't have to bite the bullet, like interesting games like Flintlock and Plague Tale Requiem. When we take a look at the Nintendo Switch, they already released Kirby and the Forgotten Land, along with Switch Sports, which has given my family and myself many hours of gameplay thus far this year. With the Switch being the top console of choice as of right now in terms of sales, we start my list at number 7 with Xenoblade Chronicles 3, developed by Monolith and coming to the Switch on July 29, 2022. This singular JRPG is a game I want to play so badly to bring back that feel of older and newer adventures spun together in this action RPG. The game itself takes the old adage of tropes I love from the past in older Japanese RPGs and able to advance a genre with an open world like its past lineage. Learning so much from number two, the masters at Monolith will take advantage and push the series to new heights and I can't wait for this one. To live and learn. So don't give up yet. This will buy you some extra time. Use it. Stop this. I don't want any of your time. If the world holds our lives back, I will end it. These are our lives here. They're not some toys you can just play with. At number six, my only Windows PC pick will be for Street Fighter VI, developed and released by Capcom. It may sound funny how I will be playing probably on Steam with Street Fighter, but I have been playing Street Fighter V the whole time on PC and loving it for one main reason and one reason alone. I can play the PC with my wireless Sega Saturn pad I bought in 2020. This has changed the way I play fighting games as a controller is the best when it comes to just that. Plus, bringing back Chun-Li and Guile seals the deal for me. Time to end this! Aspire! Double! Seven! I'm just on another level. At number 5, I'm taking a plunge with one of my favorite game developers since the release of the Ninja Gaiden on the original Xbox with Wolong Fallen Destiny, developed by Team Ninja and to be released by Koei Tecmo in 2023. This Game Pass game looks to take all the ninja fantasy and lore and pushes it to the next level. I hope the game isn't punishing like Souls games can be and just like the original Ninja Gaiden 1 and 2 for Xbox and the Xbox 360 were some of the hardest games I have ever played. At number 4, we head back to the Switch with Bayonetta 3, developed by Platinum Games and released by Nintendo because one of the best action games I have ever played. 
Just seeing the game come back makes me want to revisit the first and second games just to catch up with its insane storyline, addictive gameplay, and crazy action on screen with the crazy combos to boot. This one is an easy one for me to be excited for from his pedigree and the series has been known for. At number 3, we have Starfield. Developed by Bethesda and released by Xbox Game Studios sometime in 2023 for the Xbox consoles. The game looks incredible and a game I need since Mass Effect. I know they will be different in scope and style, but the hype here and the new footage can only make me want the game even more. With the Game Pass to boot, I can't lose in this one. But one can only hope for an ultimate open universe with Mass Effect style storytelling. At number 2, we finally hit the PlayStation 5 as we take a look at Forspoken. Developed and released by Square Enix for the PlayStation 5, the game has the look and action gameplay I want in a fantasy game. The magic, action, exploration look top notch and I truly hope it isn't delayed again into 2023. The game looks to have all in all an open world single player action adventure RPG with its insane visuals to really help its cause. A game I will almost buy day one depending on what else I'm playing at the time, but to be sure, I will make time for this one. I'm on top of the world. Let's finish this. At number one, the one game that I feel will be worth my $70 on day one is God of War Ragnarok for the PlayStation 5. Developed by Santa Monica Studios and released by Sony Interactive Entertainment, we have probably the most anticipated game since the reboot of sorts of God of War on the PS4. Like I said before, one of the most complete games in all areas of presentation and development is getting a sequel and one of the main reasons I picked up a PS5 was to play this game that I can't play on Xbox and this is really the one. A game I know I won't be let down is how well done the first one was made. Sony, just take my money now as this could be the game of the year for me. Like a general. No. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you a calm and reasonable person? That's it for this look into my top picks upcoming soon games for all consoles in 2022 and a bit into 2023. Look out for the sequel to Breath of the Wild and Zelda being game of the year of 2023 if it comes out. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Are you coming with us? soon enough. Well, some of them. Damn. Uh. Yeah.